a single question would you know go into this two three hour bonding experience where i hear out my parents their struggles of growing up in china their favorite memories and their favorite food even and how they didn't have any food What are the most important lessons you want to pass on to the next generation? What's your most precious memory? What were you doing when you were my age? What's the best advice you've ever gotten? What's something that always brings you joy? You have any advice for all the parents? For all the parents. I think the most important thing is to not be with your children when you are older. Don't be with your children when you are older. Don't be with your children when you are older. Don't be with your children when you are older. I had all these stories in my head of how they might not like it, or they'd be awkward about it, or they would even reject me for whatever reason. It was as if they had been waiting their whole life for me to actually come forward and to get curious about them. I I really like Chinese many old ideas, like to honor parents, not to reject these, like to honor the elders. 老一辈要要尊重，这些都不反对，都觉得是很好的。但是在生活中，如果你好像很死板的、刻板的去要求，一定要孩子怎么怎么样尊重你，那你首先你要也尊重孩子的看法呀、选择呀什么。I kind of had these two cultural positions at odds. Where at school I desperately wanted to fit in, but then at home my parents, you know, operated in their culture. I was bullied in middle school, and that just caused me to reject my parents. I was like, okay, I need to kind of go into this world, rejecting their love, not knowing their how to receive their love, not knowing how to give them love. I never hugged them. Them speaking to me was probably like walking through a minefield where anything could have. Triggered some explosion. It was one of those, like this is it moments of I would never regret working on this, and I just know that doing this and translating the questions, they would at least help me have the language that I never had. Ask my parents the questions I never got the chance to ask. After six months of just interviewing other Asian Americans. Hearing how big of a challenge it was for so many other immigrant、uh, families,、uh, that we were like, this, this just has to be put out there. I asked my mom the simplest question of, "What was your favorite food growing up?" It was a good three hours where she started telling me about. Well, first of all. I didn't have any food growing up. All she ate was this porridge that was like grain plus water, and that was what they used to put on the walls as glue to to build buildings back in the day. But they were so poor because of the Cultural Revolution, and she grew up at the height of the Chinese famine. It completely opened up my understanding of. Why she valued food so much? Cooking and baking is her therapy. She loves doing it. She loves doing it for other people. She would always give me way too much food, pile it onto my plate. I used it as an excuse to lash out at her. I'd be like, "Mom, how many times did I tell you I can't eat all of this food?" And I didn't understand why until she shared. Just how precious it was to have anything, and later on in life, how precious it was to to be able to feed someone else. This was her way of saying, "I love you." And what clicked was, I never really understood why my mom loved giving my neighbors so much food. So she'd go downstairs and just like you know have my dad feed the neighbors. It was her way of just giving back to the world. I think the proudest moment in my life was when I swallowed my ego and I was like, "I'm going to be friends with my parents." And Dad, I think for the very first time in my life, I think you and I are friends now. And that's.
probably the proudest moment of my life. And um, yeah, and so you said that. I said that. I said that, and I recorded it on Zoom. <laughs> the mission to me is simply, however it happens, to to help people connect more deeply with their parents. Having gone through that journey, it. It transformed my life like nothing else has. What I would hope for everyone is to first know that it's possible to improve their relationship with their families by even an inch.